Well, it is time to check in with Keith Bilbrey. I may regret it, but I'm going to see what kind of questions that you have been leaving for me in the comments and in our My Two Cents at TVN.TV mailbox. Okay, Keith, go ahead. Oh, Make just, my day. Just keep yeah. in mind, I just read them. I don't <laughs> write them. Regis from Gothenburg, Nebraska. Why has no one tried to vote for term limits for senators and House representatives on a ballot in every state? I realize those in Congress would never introduce this, but someone with connections and know-how could surely get this done. I'm hoping with your connections and support, you might be able to get others on board. I enjoy watching your so show so much. And thank you for watching the show and enjoying it. I can't agree with you more. Goodness, I wish we had term limits for everyone in government. I just think it would change our country. Now, in Arkansas, I worked and we did get term limits for our state legislature. Uh, unfortunately, to do it for Congress, it has to be done at the national level. We'd have to amend the Constitution. And you're right. Congress will never impose term limits on themselves, even though a lot of them run saying they want to be for term limits. Here's how it would have to happen. We'd have to amend the Constitution. It can be done. It is a long, difficult process. But I kind of am feeling that enough people are fed up with what they see that we might just able, be able to get this done. Let's pray and let's try to make that happen. I think it would make our country better. Quite frankly, Washington is like a big ceramic piece of furniture in your home. It's kind of round. And every now and then it needs to be flushed. Am I right? <laughs> Term limits is flushing that ceramic bowl we call Washington. There you go. Well, Diane from Lawrenceville, Georgia, congratulations to your daughter, Sarah, for announcing her intentions for running for governor of Arkansas. I know you're proud. One question. If I live in Georgia, can I vote in Arkansas's <laughs> gubernatorial election? Seems to me if illegal aliens can vote in multiple federal and state elections, I should have the same right as a citizen, right? You know, that sounds a great idea to me, just as many Pearl would say, y'all come. <laughs> I, I, I know I'm not seriously suggesting that you would illegally vote uh, because we've seen what happens when people do that recently, right? Uh, but, you know, you do have at least one characteristic that would make you far more qualified to vote, even as a Georgia resident in Arkansas, than a lot of people that voted in the last election. You actually have a pulse and you're alive. You're not dead. I think that alone should qualify you for maybe half a vote. Okay, buckle up. Carol Grimm from Texas. Hello, Mr. Huckabee. We are very shocked and disappointed when we watched your show recently and you stated that Biden was my president. Are you saying that you endorse a fraudulent, corrupt administration? You're a Christian. You should never support an administration that believes in abortion, gay marriage, and open borders. You have the right to your opinion, but we respectfully disagree and will not compromise. I understand where you're coming from, but understand I'm not supporting the policies of President Biden, but I acknowledge that the election is over and whether I like it or not, and if you listen to me very often, you know I don't really like it, but he's the president. Therefore, he is my president and scripture tells me to pray for him. And when I've seen the things he's done the first couple of weeks, believe me, I'm gonna be doing a lot of praying for him, that's for sure. I do not support his policies, but I do recognize that in our country, we should not do what was done to President Trump for four years, where you had all these people saying, not my president, and they wore shirts and they screamed it, and it was disrespectful of the office. So that's all I'm saying. He is not my choice for president, but because I'm an American and I love my country, and I'm gonna follow scripture and pray for the people in power, I will at least respect that he is my president. That is all in the world I mean. I hope that makes some sense to you. If it doesn't, I can't fix you. As I often say, I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. That's, that's the best I can do. Well, Chandra asks, I'm not someone who will storm the Capitol, burn down businesses, or even protest for that matter. I'm a citizen who has conservative values and cares about people of any color, race, or religion. I want peace, and not to hear the radical left's racist remarks on the air every day. 
Should I speak up in public or should I just keep my opinions to myself? That is a great question. And, and I'm going to say t- to you very, maybe gently, but maybe not. Please don't keep your views all to yourself. That's the reason we're in the mess we're in. Far too many people just kept quiet. And a lot of people, particularly Christians, said, oh, I'm not going to get involved in speaking out, especially in politics, because that's a dirty business. Here's what I tell you. Everybody wants to eat from a clean plate. That means somebody's got to do dishes. And folks, the reason our country is in the mess it is, is because we've let some people on the radical left occupy the stage and use up all of the airtime. And the result is, sometimes we are frustrated with what we see. Don't hold back and keep your opinions to yourself. Speak out, speak up, be clear, be respectful, and never resort to violence or rudeness or hate. But for heaven's sakes, don't hide your light under a bushel. I think I've heard that somewhere before. I'd remind us all of that. Well, big finish here, Governor. Linda Stewart from Ocala, Florida. What a traitor you've turned out to be. Now you're a kiss up to Democrats and deep state liars. May (laughs) God forgive you. Trump gave your daughter the chance of a lifetime and his popularity with millions of Americans helped you brand yourself as a conservative. Now we see you're just another D.C. grifter, swaying whichever way the money blows. Whoa, I'm so glad you know me, even better than the people who know me. (laughs) Um, What can I say to that? I don't think I'm going to cause you to like me very much. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark you down as undecided on me. (laughs) I think that may be the safest thing I can do. But... Thank you for your opinion. Aren't you glad you live in America where you can say those kind of things and you're free to do it, at least for now? But if the Democrats stay in power, that may not be the case much longer. So go ahead, send me another nasty letter. Tell me what a horrible person I am before the government tells you you can't say that anymore. There you go. Hey, be sure to leave your questions, your comments, or your vitriol in the comments below. Or you can send them to my two cents at tbn.tv. Now, if you want more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. And if you leave a comment, positive or negative, I'll be sure that my dog Toby sees it and responds to you in kind. <laughs>